Today, we're going to be talking about generating lifetime retirement income without any costs or fees. And welcome into another edition of Ask Abby with Abby Reed of the Reed Financial Group, the retirement family, uh, your resource, ladies and gentlemen, for a common sense approach to planning for your financial investment and retirement future. And you are always welcome to be in touch. You can give a call 678-442-0255 or visit the website, goaskabby.com, goaskabby.com. Abby, we, from time to time, get some questions submitted to the website, and we always appreciate your time and answering those here on the program. Absolutely. Yeah, we got a, a good one this past week, so we're going to go over that today. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll get right to it. The question, I heard there are income annuities I can get that have no fees. Is that actually true? I want to get as much monthly income as I can so my wife and I can travel and enjoy our retirement without worry. We don't care about having anything left to pass on. Don't even know what we'll have done with our house when that time comes. So sounds like uh, not much concern about a legacy here necessarily, but wanting to maximize income and, and wanting to do it at the cheapest cost possible, Abby. This is a great question and they they seem to have their priorities pretty sorted out. So that's a really good place to start. They know that they want some guaranteed lifetime income, it sounds like, and they want to maximize that as much as possible. Um, so there are annuities that don't have fees. In fact, annuities in general are not a fee product. Now, there are some features that can be added um, or maybe built into annuities that that add some costs. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're bad or that they should, shouldn't should be considered. Um, it just means that you have to take a look at what you're getting for the cost or the fee. Um, so there's a couple of, of different options here. All annuities in their in their you know most basic form can be annuitized, which means they can be turned, a lump sum can be turned into a stream of income. Now, there's a couple of different kinds here. Um, there's fixed annuities, which just have a, a guaranteed fixed or multi-year guaranteed annuities. That's another term for them. They have a fixed rate over a certain period of time, um, and then you can either transfer it somewhere else or you can turn it into income. There's also fixed index annuities, which have um, something called lifetime income riders that can be added onto them. Um, and that's going to allow you to turn on income, as we call it, um, at a certain point in time in the future, but then you still have that lump sum available. So if your needs change, if there's an emergency or um, if, you know, the unexpected happens, you still have access to your lump sum available, even though it's still that monthly income. And that's really attractive to a lot of people because one of the main complaints decades ago about annuities is you were giving up access and control of your money. And so what these companies have done is they've taken the the annuitization and they've changed it into lifetime income riders. Um, also, there's uh, variable annuities. Um, those grow a little bit differently. Um, those do kind of get into uh, a multi layers of fees. Um, so those have to be really carefully looked at. Um, and a lot of times we'll be able to do it for better and for less expensive without using a variable annuity. Um, and then there's something called a SPIA uh, or a single premium immediate annuity. That is basically buying a, a private pension, essentially. There's no more access to your lump sum. If you really truly don't care about having your lump sum, don't care about passing anything on to your beneficiaries and just want the most income, guaranteed lifetime income, then a SPIA might be a, an option for you. So essentially you hand over your, your savings, whatever it is, um, and the company that it's with pays you. And potentially if it's a, a joint option, you and your spouse for the rest of your lives, no matter what. Um, there's a lot of different options you can choose. Um, so you have to really take a look at that and make sure that that you're okay with really giving up control um, of that lump sum option. Um, so those are, in summary, the the several different options for annuities. What we do when, when somebody is looking at, we, we really need some extra lifetime income. We want to travel. We don't want to worry about, you know, the market's gone down this month. So 
we need to cancel that trip, those type things. Uh, we take a look at maximizing retirement income and doing that in a way where there's flexibility, um, the the lifetime income needs are met. So what we want to do is is cover at least your fixed expenses with guaranteed lifetime income, whether that's pensions, uh, social security, and additional uh, lifetime income that we've created from your assets. So that's a, a, a brief summary of annuities. There's a lot more that we could get into, uh, but and in general, there's a lot of different options out there. So work with a professional that has access to as many different companies as possible, because what you're going to want them to do is do that due diligence for you. Look for a company that is highly rated because um, you're going to be their partner for a long time. You want them to to be there and you want them to to be a good partner to to have around. Um, and then they can look at all of the different annuities offered and give you a recommendation on what's right for you, because that's going to be different for everybody's situation. Abby, when you mentioned the SPIA or single premium immediate annuity and, and giving up control of the lump sum and the access, that sounds like it's something that may not be attractive in every situation. But for this specific individual who's saying that they do not uh, care or have any need to have anything left on uh, after their lifetimes, that may be a situation where where that could be considered. Uh, but but again, kind of options there, depending on what your specific situation is. But it sounds like that that may be a place, a, a time and place specifically where a, a SPIA could be considered. Are there s some specific advantages to the SPIA that, that would go into that consideration? Yeah, that's a good question. So basically it's a it's a it comes down to pros and cons. Everything, in my opinion, everything has pros and cons. So you just have to figure out what pros work for you and what cons are not deal breakers for you. So a lot of times with SPIAs, the deal breaker is there's not going to be anything left over. So if you know me and my 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 spouse pass away and we've only gotten just a little bit of of lifetime income, um, then we we haven't gotten a very good good return on that. And then the company gets to keep the rest. That's been a problem for a lot of people. A, a lot of times that's why. And still today, people have a kind of a bad connotation uh, for annuities because they feel like that's going to happen to them. So. Most people, I would say that we that we meet with and work with, they want that lump sum still there, still continuing to grow, so that we can pivot and change if we need to. Um, and then they also a lot of times have beneficiaries. So if there's anything left over, then it's going to pass on to them. That's the most attractive thing to to most of the people that we work with. The person that wrote in to us um, has some different goals, um, which are. Um, you know, a little, a little bit different than we we typically see. So in this instance, what we would do is take a look at some some different income options and really lay it on the table. So we would say this is what a, a SPIA would offer. So there's no fee, of course. Uh, SPIAs don't have fees. Uh, this is what the uh, the joint option would look like. This is how much you and your spouse would get, no matter what happens for the rest of your life. Um, and then we would look at some of the fixed index annuity options uh, that still have that lump sum available, show them this is how much you would get from one of those options. And then they could decide, is the additional income that we would get from the SPIA, is that enough of an advantage? Is that enough extra income to where it makes it worth it to give up control of, of the lump sum of that? Or we could use a combination of the two. Um, it doesn't matter to us what what tools we use when we we're trying to reach a, a client's goal. It's just getting to the getting to the goal in the most efficient way and the best way that that meets the client's needs, um, you know, most efficiently. Maybe with the SPIA specifically, but probably with any financial option, Abby, going all in, putting all of your money in in one solution, maybe not the best approach. Right. So even though we feel like we kind of know what retirement's going to look like, I've been doing this for a while now. And I can tell you that unexpected stuff always comes up. 
It just always happens, um, you know, like a global pandemic, for example. So we want to have flexibility. We want to be able to pivot uh, in in your retirement plan if we need to. Um, and so it's it's worth considering uh, maybe a combination of those approaches. And what we would also recommend is making sure that you have more liquidity than you even think you need. If you do go a SPIA route, um, make sure that you have plenty outside of that, maybe some uh, growth investments and then some uh, investments, more safe and secure type investments for your emergency fund and some additional liquidity. Uh, Because even though you have that monthly income coming in that could go towards your monthly expenses, you still might need additional extra uh, funds for larger more infrequent expenses like a new roof or a new car, those type things. And it used to be kind of easy to go and just get a loan for those. And it still maybe is easy, but it's much more expensive. And so we want to take that into consideration as well. Circling back to the question here, though, where this listener asks specifically about income annuities. By definition, it sounds like all annuities could potentially create income, but they are not all created equal in the way that they create income. That's exactly right. So all of them, they have to legally, by definition, they have to be able to create income or be annuitized. Um, so with a SPIA, that's the only only way to generate income is annuitize that money. Now, <clears throat> With some of the other options, um, you don't have to annuitize your lump sum and you can get it through something called a lifetime income rider, which gives you access to your lump sum. Uh, There's maybe some stipulations there around liquidity, uh, but eventually it's 100% liquid um, and you're still receiving that lifetime income without having to annuitize it. And so that's confusing to a lot of people. So what's the difference between annuitizing? What's the difference between a lifetime income? And really what I like to break it down into is annuitizing it is giving up your lump sum in exchange for that monthly income. Uh, When you're gone, it's gone. Uh, And then the lifetime income rider provides a little bit more flexibility and some more benefits typically. So you still have that lump sum there. It's going to grow depending on you know, the type of annuity it is, it has some growth potential there, Uh, whether it's a fixed interest rate or it's indexed to the market. It just depends on the type. Uh, And then you're also receiving that monthly income. Now, with as with anything, the more benefits you receive, there's also going to be some downsides to that, of course. So you might have a little bit less monthly income, potentially, than a SPIA, um, but you're getting some benefits there as far as liquidity, flexibility, and then passing it on to your beneficiaries, which is one of the top the top goals that that we see. It's we want to make sure that we're taken care of so that our kids don't have to take care of us in the future. And then anything that's left over, we want it to pass on to our beneficiaries as efficiently and as uh, tax uh, favorable as possible. And so um, that's going to be a, a different type of annuity that that doesn't have to be annuitized. And then the second part, without any fees or costs, regardless of the financial vehicle or any service or product that 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 we need or, or, or desire, always consider costs. But Abby, sometimes there's value present for costs as well. We've got to consider the pros and cons of that. Right, exactly. So with fees, what you're going to want to do is do a a fee, basically analysis or have the professional that you're working with. We would always recommend working with somebody that's independent uh, because they have access to virtually a limitless uh, world of solutions because they can work with a lot of different companies and they can truly go out and do the due diligence for you and find the best option. Um, So what you're going to want to do is look at total cost to the solution that you're looking for. So a lot of a lot of these options have no cost at all uh, as far as an account fee, um, which is an attractive option. Uh, SPIAs don't have fees. Uh, fixed annuities don't have fees typically. If there's some type of a rider added on to it, sometimes there's a fee, sometimes there's not. Typically, it's about 1%. So if you're looking at these options and you see um, anything that's 
a little bit above that, you're going to want to see more of a benefit um, if it's above that one, you know, maybe 1.2%. Um, something that we also like to educate people on is variable annuities have several other fees because of how they're built. Um, so if there's a lifetime income rider, there's going to be a fee for that um, pretty much always. Uh, there's also something called uh, mortality and expense fees and administrative fees. And those fees can really add up. We've seen them almost 4% at some times. Um, and that's unnecessary. You know, it can be done in a better way than that. And there are a lot of a lot of options out there that have no fees or reasonable fees. Um, so you just want to make sure when you do that analysis, you're getting value for that. So uh, most things have a cost. Um, it doesn't mean that they're bad or that they shouldn't be used. It's just, are you getting the value from that? And is there a less expensive option that's going to get you to your goal? Uh, because if so, then we're going to use that one. Well, Abby, we always appreciate your insight and, and answering the questions of our viewers and, and listeners. And personally, ladies and gentlemen, if you've got questions, concerns, or would like a complimentary review analysis and planning strategy session with Abby Reed and the team from the Retirement Family at Reed Financial Group, you can always give a call 678-442-0255, 678 678- Four four two zero two five five, or skip the phone call. Always available online at goaskabby.com. Goaskabby.com, and we appreciate uh, this individual submitting their question. We'd love to hear from you if you've got your own. So goaskabby.com or six seven eight four four two zero two five five. Abby, always a pleasure. Thanks, Peter. We always appreciate you listening to the program. If you would like, subscribe and share and leave any comments, we could also take some questions. We would love to answer those on the program. Do you have any financial questions or concerns? If so, visit goaskabby.com and submit those so we can talk about them on our program. Here to answer your financial questions, visit the website goaskabby.com for show resources and to submit your questions and get answers or to schedule your complimentary financial investment and retirement planning strategy session. You can also reach out to Abby directly at 678-442-0255. That's 678-442-0255 or at goaskabby.com. Investment advisory services offered through Brookstone Capital Management, LLC, BCM. A registered investment advisor, BCM and Refinancial Group are independent of each other. Insurance products and services are not offered through BCM, but are offered and sold through individually licensed and appointed agents. Third-party ratings and recognitions are no guarantee of future investment success and do not ensure that a client or prospective client will experience a higher level of performance or results. These ratings should not be construed as an endorsement of the advisor by any client, nor are they representative of any one client's evaluation.